1964, Ready Steady Go was one of the most popular television shows in Britain, and producers Elkin Allen and Francis Hitching decided to organise the Ready Steady Go mod ball. The event took place at the Empire Pool Wembley on Wednesday 8 April 1964. A seven-camera shoot was organised covering 2,000 dances and nearly 6,000 spectators. The hour-long TV special was directed by Peter Croft and hosted by Keith Fordyce and Kathy McGowan. Sadly, like most Ready Steady Go episodes, the footage was wiped and taped over. For logistical reasons, the artists were asked to mime rather than perform but it was agreed that several bands, including The Stones, would perform 20-minute live sets before the television cameras started filming. The acts performed on a miniature mobile rostrum positioned in the center of the audience on the Empire Pools floor. At the time, The Stones hadn't yet released their first full-length album but Not Fade Away was number four on the singles chart. The Stones got an incredible reception and they had to fight their way through the crowd to the stage area. Songs performed were Not Fade Away, Walking the Dog, High Heel Sneakers and I'm All Right. A week after the show took place, Ray Coleman wrote about the event for Melody Maker. Coleman wrote, The Rolling Stones have not yet had a chart-topping record, but in mass popularity, the Stones are second only to the Beatles. Anyone who saw the mod ball must agree. The lineup was strong, yet it was only the Stones who caused a near riot, whose music gained peak applause and whose exit from the stage ended in uproar from protesting fans. The British press spoke to some of the acts before the show. Mick Jagger wasn't too happy about the rostrum the band was going to use. They're going to pull us round on that thing, Mick said. Thousands will be killed and I'll fall off. Obviously nobody was killed but both Keith Richards and Charlie Watts were pulled off the stage by over-enthusiastic fans during the television broadcast, which made the miming even more farcical. The Mod Ball was a big event at the time and it seemed to be an important event for the Stones as well. In fact, in 1985, 21 years after the event, Mick Jagger was interviewed by Melody Maker, and when journalist Colin Irwin asked him about the high points of his career, Jagger responded, one of the highlights was the mod ball at Wembley in 1964. I loved doing Ready Steady Go. It was great. The national press barely talked about the show, instead focusing on the disturbances outside the venue. About 300 kids who had turned up hoping to get in, became rowdy. 30 were arrested and charged with insulting behavior and obstruction. Michael Green, a 19-year-old mod, told the Hendon Times, The reason there was so much trouble was because most of the crowd who wanted to get into the dance were mods. But some of our enemies, the rockers, turned up there on their motorcycles. They started interfering with us and shouting and jeering. Then the scuffling and disturbances broke out. The appearance of the Stones on the scene was the beginning of the end for many of the groups who performed with them at the Empire Pool. The so-called Mersey sound of bands like the Mersey Beats or Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas, among many others, was on the way out. It was the end of Liverpool as the city with the hottest music scene in Britain. The young mods of 1964 felt the Mersey Beat bands were corny and outdated and by 1965 most of those bands were struggling to find success and many of them broke up. The Stones gained a big following on the string of their live shows. And their wild R&B and blues sound was something the British public had never heard before. At the time, they were still playing mostly covers of old R&B and blues numbers but they performed those songs with such youthful enthusiasm and adrenaline that it seemed like the perfect music for teenage Britain. A month after the event, Rave magazine wondered if the Stones would be able to break big in Europe and America. The magazine spoke to American television producer Jack Good, who had flown to London to handle a Beatles television special. Jack Good was the producer of the American show Shindig, which introduced many British bands to the American public. While in London, the producer attended the Ready Steady Go mod ball and he caught the Stones live set before the cameras rolled in. Jack Good said, When I first saw the Stones I was stunned. It was at the mod ball at Wembley. They went on stage to give one of the most devastating performances I have ever seen. With their vibrant personalities they will go far. Rave magazine also spoke to American DJ Murray the K, who was crucial in breaking the Beatles in America. The DJ said, The Stones are a serious threat to the Beatles' worldwide popularity. The American people are going to go absolutely wild for the Stones. Their appearance will create the initial interest just as it did with the Beatles. But when they realize the Stones are a completely different kettle of fish, their popularity will skyrocket. 
After 172 episodes, Ready Steady Go was broadcasted for the last time on the 23rd of December 1966.